I'm Margie Brody, all masked up. I'm gonna be making some rocks tonight. This will go along with the written tutorial that I've already posted on rocking our art. Um, I use Ziploc gallon bags for my pouring and for mixing, so it's a very easy cleanup. And because it is dusty, I do wear gloves, I do wear masks, and I do wear goggles. This is, um, the cement I use is called Rapid Cement, Cementol. It's from Home Depot. It's really cheap. It's like $23 for 55 pounds. It'll last you a long, long time, and it makes really nice, sturdy rocks. So I always leave um, a cup of something in here, because what I'm gonna do is, is mix in here. I'm gonna put three parts of the cement, and outside, when I go out to make the rocks, I'll mix it with one and a quarter parts. So it doesn't matter what how big this is, as long as it's three to one and a quarter. Some people do three to just one. To me, that came out a little too thick. And this doesn't have to be exact. I just kind of shake it up a little bit. It's a little over, a little under. It doesn't have to be exact, it's fine. Here's my part number, part number two. And part number three. I've actually made a few bags of these because I have a lot of, a little bit under, that's fine. I have a lot of molds outside that I want to do. So anyway, I zip this up so as I walk through the house I don't get dust inside. But I'm going to pause this right here and reconvene outside. Thank you. Okay, so I'm outside in my rock laboratory. <laughs> these are a lot of my molds. Believe it or not, it's not all my molds, but um, I've gotten them all cleaned and they're out here ready to be filled after I prep them too with what I call soapy water. Um, what I'd like to show you is on a lot of the, these professional rocks, they have this like lip in here. So when you clean, make sure all these lips on all these rocks doesn't have any remnants of cement or else it will ruin that part of your rock as you make the new one. So what I have out here again is all my molds. I've got one of my bags of cement. I've got scissors so that I can cut a corner off. Always need a paper towel for something. Same unit that I had inside, or cup that I had inside the cement bag, because I'm gonna use one and a quarter water with this. I have my bottle of water that's got two drops of um, dish detergent in it, which will help release these and not to get the bubbles on the surface, and it's wonderful. I also have my jug of cool water ready to go. And the reason I'm saying cool water is that if you use hot water, this rapid cement will actually set faster. So I like to have a little more time to make sure I'm getting in there, have enough time to tap it and pour a lot of rocks. So even this one, because it was a warm day, I threw some ice cubes in to make sure it was basically cool and not a hot bottle of water. Um, and just really quickly, I'm gonna show you, there's kind of like three types of molds, or actually four. One of these ones that are self-supporting. These are really good. This is from Happy Dotting. When you fill these, you can individually tap these around to get bubbles out. So that's ready to go for that. For these multiple rock rolls that are nice and even, I built a little thing out of just some cardboard that supports it. So two reasons I like to do that is one, that the bottom of the rock won't get flat because if these were just laying down, you're liable to have a flat section. And two, it's gonna be hard to get under there to tap. So I just actually use the cardboard to tap it. That's gonna help release bubbles. The latest mold that a lot of people have is the one that looks like Santorini. So again, it's not even like this one is, it's kind of irregular, so I'm not gonna have an easy time making the support. So I just get a box that about is the same size as it, and I just tap it around when I finally have it full. I get a lot of my boxes from just Costco, so after I've destroyed them, I just replace them with new ones. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my soapy water, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it around all the molds. And I am gonna shake the excess out. Just a little piece of concrete. There you go. But this stuff really does look amazing. Not that I care if there's bubbles on the back side, but the front side that you're going to be painting on, um, it's nice to have to have bubbles. I forgot to mention that 
anything can be a mold that's plastic. So all, obviously all the silicone things work very well, but even something like this, which is just one of your plastic containers that you can put a sandwich or salad in, if you like the shape of it, like this one doesn't have divots or anything, it's a nice five by five square, you can go ahead and use this as a mold. Um, when you get packages and they have that protective um, plastic on that you hate cutting off because it's really hard and thick, again, if you see a shape that you like, um, like I saw um, some cherry tomatoes and it was like in a Christmas tree type plastic, I could have used that for a mold. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to have molds. Um, just be creative. So now I'm going to take these. I also do some lining with just some freezer paper. Um, just to preserve the box a little bit longer. I've also protected my table with a, um, a curtain, a very inexpensive plastic curtain from Costco. Um, cause every now and then if you haven't closed up the bag really well and it opens up, you can ruin your table and the concrete below you. So, and these don't have to be dry. As a matter of fact, you don't want them to be dry. You're just literally shaking this out. I have a little towel down here so that I'm not messing up my concrete outside. My husband appreciates that. And I may have more molds than I need. I don't really worry about measuring everything exactly. I'd rather have a little extra than not. So that's it. They're ready to pour. I do one bag at a time to make sure I've done my debubbling. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, this is three parts of my concrete in here. I'm going to do basically one and a quarter parts of water. So I'm going to fill this all the way up one. And I'm going to eyeball yeah, it's about a quarter. Again, it doesn't have to be so exact. You're going to see some of the dust here, which is why <laughs> I'm wearing a mask. But try to get as much air as you can. Make sure it's there. And then I'm kind of just going to massage this. Get kind of the first pass. I'm getting it all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so you can see that. And it'll burp a little air out of it. Okay, it's closed. Now I'm just going to find all those little pieces that are still in here that haven't quite dissolved and work them in. And again, as you work with this, if you decide you want it thicker, you want it more waterier, you know, it's totally your choice. Okay, that looks up pretty good. Okay. So again, this is nice and sealed. Make sure your seal is there concrete to one side. I cut a nice piece off because eventually it does get thicker. And as it gets thicker, it gets hard to get through that hole and I don't want to waste too much time. This is a nice. You don't want to necessarily overfill either. That'll just make you have more that you're going to have to file off later. And if there's a few clumps here and there, don't worry about it. Now that just about took a whole bag. I'm going to shake it a little bit. I'm shaking up a little more here. Okay. And if you see kind of when you pour it gets a little uneven, just shake it out a little bit. Okay, I have very little left in my next one. So I'm going to leave this here for a second and go on to my next bag. So what I want to do is kind of hit this thing around. made a little bit of mess. I'm usually more careful than that. That'll wipe off later. Yeah, don't worry about it. As long as the front surface is good, then I'll get my next one ready to go. So I'll do this one next. Okay. Do I need a pause? Hmm? Do I need a pause at all? Pause. Go. 
Okay, bag number two. My cameraman had a question for me, so <laughs> <laughs> my daughter's being uh, sorry. very nice to sit here and tape this, but I just want to show you how fast this can be. You don't have to be perfect with anything and just have more molds than you need so that, you know, you don't, you have something to, you know, where to put your extra mold, um, extra cement if you have it. So again, there's one, actually, let me go a little bit less than a quarter because cold water seems to be doing really well, keeping it more liquidy. I've had warmer water that I didn't realize it sets faster and it got real chunky pretty fast. So that's why I felt sometimes I need more water. This is nice and cold because I added a little bit of ice cubes in it because it was hot in the tap today. So again, I'm going to burp it. And this usually mixes up really well. This does not take much time at all. I'm not feeling much. That's really good. I have spilled it, so I'm going <laughs> to do that. Okay, a nice size off so that if it was making sort of getting solid on you, you'd have enough of the whole thing to pour. And again, don't worry if you spill a little bit. It's nice with the baggie because you really get to control it really nicely. See some of it starting to get thicker already. You get a little thing there just... So with this kind of one, again, I'm going to tap the sides. And you see some of the bubbles coming up. And this is fine how deep it is. You can fill it to the top if you want it. You know, again, with this one, I just tap kind of the frame to help release anything. But I found that the soapy water does a lot with it. Let's see, do one more really fast. Put this down here. Again, this, you can get a lot of molds and a lot of rocks in and not spend hours doing this. So this one, just for the heck of it, let me do a one-to-one. -one. Since I've got nice cold water, that seems to be agreeing. And you've got a period, a short period of time, but a period of time before it starts hardening. But if you need to run in and add a little more water, you could. That's why I like using kind of, see I'm having a hard time. It does, almost doesn't look like I have a quarter in here. This will be much thicker. You know what? I like my quarter cup. <laughs> it just makes it a little better. I'm even a little less than that. But that just felt like it was getting really thick. I don't want it to set up too fast. I really want to get it down here so everything is wet. Now, if you're using a different type of cement or plaster or whatever, your dimensions, um, your measurements may be different. It may not be a three to one and a quarter. <coughs> You just gotta have to experiment a little, little bit at a time. But this baggie is a great idea and it just makes cleanup so, so much easier. Okay. Okay. 
Let me get some of my other rock molds here. See how that looks thicker? There's a little bit less water. See, a little bit of water makes it different. So what I'm going to do now is take this, shake them a little bit to get them down. But you can see how much thicker just a little bit of water made with this. Look at that. That's a big difference from what you saw before. Like I said, you got a little bit of time to kind of shake it down. Get that top part smooth. shake out your heart? Oh, I will. Try to get these in before it gets too hard. That's why I don't like doing too many at a time because you have a limited amount of time you can come back and do the kind of shaking. How much extra I have here. That's why I always have extra. It may not be a full rock, but then this will become experimental for something else. Maybe some new foils. <laughs> yeah, this won't be a full rock. It'll be a play rock. Okay. Let's see, it's still... Good enough that I can tap it. Bubbles coming up. I've seen some things that say tap it for like two minutes. To be honest, when I've done that, I've got a fracture down the back, so I don't. Just a little bit like this. You can see the bubbles coming up. There's bubbles. See little bubbles there. If there's some bubbles on the back, I really don't care. So you can see it's already starting to firm up. And that's good. Okay, so that's as far as I'm going to go tonight. I do have another bag, but I'll do that offline. This could just be thrown away. So I wanted to show you is when a rock comes out of this mold, so you can see this, that you'll end up having a, a nice ridge like this on the back. I use what's called a wraith file. It's just a metal file. Some people use Dremels, you know, whatever it is. But I also do, because that can be a little hard to handle, and I don't want to get my hand. I just put some garden gloves on. You don't need gloves on under this necessarily. I still would wear a mask and the goggles because there's going to be dust. And I usually don't do this right where I'm making fresh rocks, but I wanted to get enough of this into the video. But I have a box like this. I would take the rest in and just go around and smooth those edges. I don't have to be perfectly flat. Sometimes I actually take the back of this and fill in the circle. If you do this when the rocks are newer, it's a little bit easier because the cement's softer. But you don't even have to go much more than that. And that could be just fine. Then the other thing I was going to show, I'll take these off so I can work, is that should you get bubbles on it, and I had a hard time finding one with a bubble. Sorry, Rachel. <laughs> like here you see I have a little bubble right in front. So what I do is I get a little tube of spackle. Squeeze a little bit out. And anywhere you see it, I just kind of put a little filler in it. Like that and rub it off and let that dry till it's white. 
you know, if there's other areas here, I may take the spackle and rub it around that. And that way, when you paint, it's not just soaking everything into the rock. It's like this never-ending hole. Um, ever since I started spraying, I really have a hard time finding rocks to show you that because they've been really doing well. So anyway, um, I would basically leave these alone for at least a couple hours. Let them set. If you're in a rush to make more rocks, go ahead and pop them out. You know, in like two, three hours when they're set. If you're not in a rush, go ahead and just get them the next day and pop them out and enjoy them. Um, I may come back in a couple hours and film them popping out, but for now, signing off. Thank you so much.